This is Gary for Audio Plugin Deals. Please like, subscribe, and push the notification bell. So when the good deals show up, you get notified. Let's dive in. That's Vocal AI. Really amazing. A lot of cool features. Let's get into it. It's broken into four parts. They're listed by number. You can see it on the screen here. They go left to right, top to bottom. Number one's on the left, number two's on the right, three and four, and each section, one, two, three, and four, is uh, a repeat, basically. All the same functionality can be applied to each section, but um, each section is on its own. So here's an example. This preset's called Eraser. Um, if I solo this, this part of it, number one, we can get a chance to listen to it. Let's check it out. We've got a volume control. We've got a low cut. And a high cut. We got resonance. And there's velocity. You can control velocity um, based on uh, what controller you're using and uh, control the amount of things that are affected. Like high cut can be routed to velocity. Uh, resonance can be routed to velocity. It's, like I said, it's pretty robust. You also have attack and release. You've got velocity um, uh, controls for that, as well as what they call energy. Let's listen to that. It sounds like a exciter type of thing. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. Got pan. And, um, and here's where it gets even crazier. So I just solo that one part. If I move the X, Y, unsolo that and move the X, Y coordinate, we can go through one, two, three, or four. We can move it around, but check this out. There's actually presets to have it move around for you. So let's just reset the thing. Cause I've been touching stuff. We'll reset the preset, uh, go back to eraser. And as you can see, what I did is I just built little sequences in Logic. Um, this is running in contact. Um, and what I'm doing is um, uh, just kind of setting up some sequences after I messed with some of the uh, presets to see what I liked and see what I was inspired by. So um, the XY, the XY is actually pretty cool. It's set up in a way where you can actually load in a preset and get the X, Y to move around. So. so it's kind of crazy, but it can be programmed for the sound and meaning that you can build an X, Y movement by just moving like I was doing with the mouse. You can grab hold of it and move it around, or you can go in here and you can set up a MIDI learn function and uh, use CC controls. So your controller can be assigned to the X and then another um, uh, parameter can be assigned to Y and you can move the parameters around and make it work for you. So, what I'm going to do is walk through some of the presets, let you check them out, and uh, get a feel for what it is. You've got sound sources in each one of those four sections. Um, and the sound sources are pretty robust. Let's, let's take a look at that list right quick. So in section one, 
we got this eth um, ethereal female four. But when I click on it, look at this list of sound sources that can be applied. Keep in mind, they can be applied to four different sections. It's pretty amazing. And, and you've got a step sequencer, one per section. You can bypass it. You don't have to use it. And you can use um, any portion of it that you want. 16th note, quarter notes, whole notes. And you can control the velocity of those passes. So again, let's solo another section. Let's listen to what it's doing. It's pretty cool. Bypass that. And we've got an effect section. Pretty cool. The effect section lets you assign an effect to any one of those, again, four sections. Let's unsolo that. And you can control um, all aspects of the effect. So you can choose your effect. You can turn it on and off. And you could go in and set the parameters for the effect. So individual controls for all the effects that you can assign. Robust, that's probably too small a word, but it, it's pretty amazing. So I guess the best way to kind of show it to you is let you see or let you hear um, what's going on. So let's just go through some of those presets and check it out. See here. Get core to go back. Uh, we checked out eraser. Let's check out another one. So let me set up another cue. All right, so I'll just set a loop point in Logic. And keep in mind, this is loaded into Contact 7. Um, but it, I don't think it's a NIC file, so you might be able to run it in the player as well. So um, you've got, let me queue up these presets. There's a ton of presets too. So what I'm looking for is... Um, preset called looking within let's see let's mess with that little xy thing while that plays Let's move on. Let's check out another one. So the first one's as one, and the second preset's going to be external light. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So let's check out that other preset. Uh, let's see what I call it. It's made up of tenor ah, folk male, folk female, and choir male. All right, let's check it out.
Let's just pick a couple more here and I think it kind of gives you an idea of what this thing is capable of. Thanks for hanging out. Hope you enjoyed this Sample Logic Vocal AI audio plugin deals. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you get a notification when all the new good deals show up. Thanks again.